Well, government-run health care faces an uphill battle in all states, but in the state of Georgia, some senators there, they're banding together in an effort to amend the state constitution to block enforcement of the bill if it does pass. Joining us from Atlanta this morning, Georgia State Senate Majority Leader Chip Rogers and Georgia State Senator Judson Hill. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Thanks for being here on Labor Day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, uh, Chip, we'll start with you. Tell me exactly how the Tenth Amendment may prevent uh, health care reform in your state. Well, as you know, the Tenth Amendment preserves the rights of the states and the people to make these type of determinations for themselves. And what we're simply saying in this entire debate over health care is that while government is out there discussing what they should do, we ought to at least start with what they should not do. And one of the things they should not do is come between a patient and a doctor or a private company and a, and a doctor. And we're simply saying that the right to purchase health care, the right to purchase health care coverage is a right that Georgians exist today and that we want to protect that right so that no government can come in and say you cannot purchase health care, you can't, you can't buy this particular plan. Or if the government were to say we're going to penalize you for doing that, we want to say no, you cannot do that. So. so so we're simply trying to set the ground rules to say, look, you may be talking about some sort of health care plan, but in Georgia, we want to protect these rights we already have. So, Senator Hill, how do you plan to do this? Well, we propose a constitutional amendment that preserves and protects your freedom to choose the health care uh, provider that you want, as well as select your own health insurance that you need. And we introduced the con or we proposed a constitutional amendment to be introduced at the next legislative session. Chip, let me ask you, if now the entire 49 other states have health care reform and all the uninsured are covered, would you not be concerned about a revolt about the people who remained uninsured in your state when they could just simply move over the border to, say, Tennessee and have insurance? Well, that's not what this is about. What we're talking about is preserving the right of an individual to go outside of a single-payer system and simply pay a doctor for services or a company to go outside of the single-payer system and buy health care coverage that they prefer for their particular employees. So, look, everybody here, no one disagrees with the idea we want to protect those who are uninsured. We want to find an answer to this solution, but the solution should never be that we're going to prevent an individual or, by extension, a small business from purchasing their own health care. So, we're trying to lay the ground rules here to say, look, you may be trying to come up with a solution, but this should not be part of it. But gentlemen, do you think you should wait a few more months or who knows how long it's going to take for Congress to figure out this health care reform plan, but should you wait and find out the specifics before you go ahead and say, we don't want a part of it in the state of Georgia? We actually think we should not wait. We think it's critically important to preserve the rights of all Georgians today and basically drive a stake in the sand and say we're going to stand up and protect our individual freedoms and rights to, to choose the doctor, choose the health care provider that we want, choose the insurance plan that we want, and we need to, de to declare to the citizens uh, of this state that you've got a champion here to do so. This would be a constitutional amendment proposal that would go out to the voters and the voters would have the chance to decide in November of next year if it were to pass. The Real quickly, uh, yeah, you, look at, uh, you are the majority yeah. leader there. How has this been received in your state thus far? Well, again, what we're talking about is preserving a right that Georgians already have today. So everybody I've talked to looks at this as common sense. You know, do I have the right to go out and purchase health care from a doctor and not have the government tell me I can't do it? Well, that, that seems pretty simple, and most people are supportive of that. And to the question of whether we're stepping forward, look, we're talking about a protecting a right. If we sit around and wait until the federal government tramples on that right, okay. our constituents are going to look at us and say, why are you doing this? Right. Why did you let this happen? So we're not just going to stand by okay. idly. Uh, Georgia State Senate. Majority Leader Chip Rogers and State Senator Judson Hill. We appreciate you being here this morning. You got to see this Thank video. You very much.